The holidays are approaching, and of course that means bakers will soon be busy too. But making your favorite recipes will cost more this year. Butter and margarine prices are up 32%. John Lauritsen checks out if bakers need to worry about any shortages. <laughs> I bake cookies, I make decorated cookies, your traditional drop cookies, cakes, cupcakes. Amy Smith's kitchen is about to get crazy. As the owner of Cake Smith Baking Company in Rogers, she'll bake and decorate thousands of holiday cookies over the next couple months, while also teaching students and friends like Chelsea Rosette. It's so fun. It takes a lot of time and a lot of patience. But there's a new challenge to Amy's business and passion. Prices have essentially skyrocketed since 2020. I used to be able to buy butter a dollar 29, 99 cents a pound, and now I think I just got the cheapest was 4.49 a pound. So we've quadrupled in price. The butter price increases that Amy and other bakers are seeing has a lot to do with challenges from the farm level up to the processing level. Whether it be wage inflation, ability to get labor, the costs of feed. Uh, freight and warehousing, all of those costs are up. Heather Ann Fing is with Land Lakes. It's their busy time of year too. But even with the rise in prices, she's not anticipating a butter shortage in Minnesota. I don't anticipate any widespread shortage. Inventories are down versus last year because of all the disruption that we discussed. That disruption has forced Land Lakes and Amy to either eat the added costs or pass them on to customers. But as long as the butter keeps coming, Amy will keep baking. I couldn't imagine stopping it because of it, so it's just one of the things you take on as a small business owner. In Rogers, John Lortzen, 